In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on the IOPAC nomenclature of alkanes, okay? Naming compounds from the alkane series. Now you can see these questions written on the board. Now let's start with the first example. Now the first example is an alkane. So know a compound if it's an alkane, it will have just single bonds. Now this first compound here contains six carbons. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So a six carbon alkane is called exane. So the name of this compound is called exane. This is exane. And they are all single bonded. So we have six carbons. That is why the compound is called exane. Now let's quickly move over to the second example. Now you can see that this second example has a substituent. So basically, let's number from here because if we if we number from here, we're going to have a higher value for the substituent. So we start numbering from here. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And this group here, this substance signifies a methyl group. So what will be the name of this compound? At carbon 2, there is a methyl group. So the name of this compound will be called 2-methyl because between numbers and letters, we use dash to separate them. So we have 2-methyl and we have 5 carbon as the parent chain. So a 5 carbon alkane is called pentane. So the name of this compound is called 2 methyl pentane. Now let's quickly move over to question 3. Now you can see the parent chain here, or the parent name is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically we have 6 carbons, so it will be exane. It will be exane. But we have different substituents. Now, at carbon 2, there is a methyl group. And at carbon 3, there is also a methyl group. Because if we start numbering from here, the value we have for the methyl group will be larger. Because the sole aim of Ayubat nomenclature for the substituent, we are to have uh, smaller values for the substituent. So basically, the name of this compound becomes now you can see we have two methyl group at carbon two and at carbon three. So basically the name of this compound becomes two, three, how many methyl? Two, so it will be dimethyl. Two theory, dimethyl. The parent chain here is cis carbon, so basically it's called exe. Two, three, dimethyl. Exe. Now let's quickly move over to question four. Now, question four is an alkane. And what is the parent chain here? Basically, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you can see if we start numbering from this direction, we have larger values for the substituent. So basically, we start numbering from this direction. Now, you can see at carbon 2, there is a substituent, basically it's the methyl group. And at carbon 3, there is substituent, two methyl groups, CH3, CH3. Now, let's not name the compound. So, basically, it will be 2, theory, theory, because at carbon 3, there's two methyl group. And how many methyl group altogether? 1, 2, 3. And it is trimethyl. Trimethyl, the longest chain is six carbons, so basically it's exe. So two, three, three, trimethyl, exe. Now let's quickly move over to question five. Now you can see that this compound has different substituents. Now let's number the compound. Let's number from this direction. So we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. 
Now, as carbon 3, there's a substituent. And what is the name of this substituent? This is the methyl group substituent. And at carbon 4, there's also a substituent, which is the ethyl. You can see it has two carbons. So this is the ethyl group substituent. Ethyl group substituent. Now, if we number from this direction, the values we have for the substituent will be larger. Because, you know, in organic chemistry, the sole aim is to get values for the substituent to be small as possible. Now, let's number from this direction. If we number from this direction, the value we have for this substituent will be larger. Because now we have 3, 4. But when we number from this direction, we have something to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The ethyl group now has 4. And also, the methyl group now has 5, which is 9 and which is 7. Which one is uh, smaller? This is smaller, so we'll go with this value. Now, let's go with this direction. Now, what will be the name of this compound? It becomes Thierry ethyl, sorry. 3-methyl, 4-ethyl, 7-carbon as a parent chain, so basically it's hectane. But, is this the name of this compound? No. Why? Because in organic chemistry, the substituents should be arranged in alphabetical order. Now you can see, E comes before N. So what will be the name of this compound? It becomes 4-ethyl, 3-methyl, hectane. So this is the correct name for this compound. Now let's quickly move over to the last question for the day. Now, Counting from this direction, we have a lower number because when you have one, two, three, higher, one, two, lower. So basically, we come from this direction, so it becomes one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, what will be what is this group? This is the methyl group substituent, and also this is an ethyl group substituent. So basically, alphabetically, it becomes four ethyl. 2, 2, dimethyl, how many carbon? 6, so basically it's called hexane. In determining the alphabetical order of a particular compound, the prefixes di, tri, tetra does not matter. We just check the substituent later. So basically here, E comes before. And so basically, this is the name of this compound. So it's called 4 ethyl to, to dimethyl XA. So basically, this is the allopack nomenclature to alkanes. And don't forget, alkanes are single bonded and they are sp3 hybridized. The first member of the alkane series is called methane, and methane can also be called mash gas or fire damp. Don't forget to subscribe. Chemistry made easy with Bright Edo for more videos. Thanks for watching.